Hey guys, it's Shimani and welcome back to another episode of my Derby Crew Mode. Today's episode 3. We're back with Derby Crew Mode. Obviously yesterday there wasn't an episode because I was at my dad's house. And I left you guys with two questions. And that was whether we should sell Johnson. And Adam said keep him. So I will. I don't know. One mil, maybe. Let's go for one mil for Cavett Lewin. See what happens because the situation is I do want a striker for the future. And I think it, it's not too unrealistic, so they want a 1% selling clause, but they're happy with that. I would just go ahead and accept that, so basically it should be alright. Again, Calvert-Lewin might not want to come to our club, but if we do end up getting Calvert-Lewin, I'm going to uh, just put Ak send Akpon back to Arsenal. I am really interested in him, so I would like this to happen. Um, he wants 17 grand a week. Let's give him rotation for now, see what he says to that. Right, he was hoping for a rotation, so basically that Akpom. And I would much rather have Calvert Lewin than Akpom. He's only 20 years old. I wanna I'm gonna offer him a five year deal. He wants to come to the club as well. Apparently he didn't want to come on loan, but he wants to come on a permanent, which is it's fine by me. It's all going smoothly so far. Fifteen and a sign and bonus of three hundred K to see if that can smooth the deal, obviously I don't expect him to accept that, but I want to know what he can go for. That's fine by me, he's willing to take a wage cut if I offer him certain um, clauses, which is fine by me. So Calvert-Lewin is coming to Derby County. I wanted him on loan initially, lads, but that wasn't going to happen, so I've got him on a permanent and I'm buzzing with that to be fair. And with that, it was very poor of me. To bring in Akpom, because I'm literally just going to terminate his loan already. 136 grand down the drain. Thanks, Akpom, for coming for two days training. But So with that deal done now, lads, I'm going to uh, sim the Arsenal game away in the Carabao Cup. And Calvert-Lewin is getting his first start of the season immediately after signing. Obviously, I've got a young side, so I'm expecting to get drummed. And... No, it was quite, it was a decent score, 3-1, but we're out, that's the main thing. So yeah, lads, let's get straight into this game against Sheffield Jack. My team's going to be Carson, Lowe, Davis, Keo, Wisdom, Thorne, Huddleston, Madison, Vidra, Lawrence and Nugent. Uh, and Calvert-Lewin makes the bench. Blackman in goal, Lafferty, Stearman, Basham, Carter Vickers and Baldock at the back. Lundstrom, Fleck and Duffy in the middle. And Billy Sharp and Clayton Donaldson up top. Baldock, Sharp, back to Baldock. Carson is made to save... An early shot, Vidra, Nugent, I need runners, and so far I've not got the Madison, to Vidra, this is good, Vidra have a pop, straight into the hands of Blackman, here's Lawrence, Lawrence, threads it through to Nuge, Nuge, have a crack son, Basham puts out for a corner, what can we do from this corner, whip it straight in Tom, oh and that's a great ball for Davis, Blackman saves, and Keo taps it in, Richard Keo, you... Goal poaching demon. He's paused 1 0 up here at Bramall Lane. Poachers finish. Donaldson, it's fallen to Duffy. Donaldson has a pop. Wisdom puts it out for a corner. What can they do from the corner now? Like so, we don't concede as well. Pretty safe. But it's still with Duffy. Out to Fleck. With Duffy in the middle. Donaldson, Duffy. Oh dear, get it out, flex in the box, good play from Sheffield United, Donaldson goes for it, and oh my word, he's picked that top corner out, what a finish, I can't be mad at that, that was quality, Sheffield United just wouldn't get rid of the ball, they, they wouldn't let me have it, some really nice passing, very nice passing move, and I thought that was going wide, but he picked his spot perfectly. Whatever you do, Derby, don't let them go in front. Lafferty, he whips it in, Mark Duffy, free header, and he puts it over. Lundstrom, Lundstrom has a pop, and it's gone in. Oh my word, he has a pop, deflects off Curtis Davis and finds the back of the net, 2-1 down. Madison, brilliant, Cavett-Lewin, back to Madison, finish it. Marcus, he does. Marcus Madison scores again. This time Calvert-Lewin assists him. Nice little link-up play from them two. And a very good finish from Madison to put us level. Skips past Davis, Bulldog. And they're into the box. 
Oh no! That was Donaldson not scored that. Here we are, last chance at game. Maybe not. Evans, Billy Sharp, Huddleston. Let's have one more chance, lads. Here we are. Here's Calvert Lewin, and he loses it. Can we still do something? No. That's that, lads. They've scored two goals with one shot on target. We've had eight shots on target and only scored two. It's the same old story. We need to be more clinical, but at least it's one more point out of this fixture than we've got in real life. So we're in deadline day, guys, and do you know what? I might have a look at Ryan Sessegnon. I know, uh, I know that it's a bit unrealistic, but let's have a look at Fulham with five points on loan at Estac Troyes. So Fulham have loaned him out to some French team. Offer for Vyman from Bolton. And once again, look, it keeps getting lower and lower from 1.2 mil to just over 1 mil. Vyman, I don't want you. Get the hint. Go. Loan offer for Jonathan Mitchell and Callum Guy. Shrewsbury want Callum Guy. My friend sports Shrewsbury. I will be happy to offer you Callum Guy. He's a very young, good prospect. Mitchell, however, is wanted by Blackburn. And I'm not... Prepared to do that as he's my second goalkeeper, so nope. Can this be it? And he's gone at the third time of asking. He's only gone to Bolton. So he, he rejected he rejected Ipswich to go to Bolton. That's a bizarre move, Andy, but at least he's off the books now, lads. Good. A, new, a loan offer for Mitchell again. And I'm just going to block all offers. This time it's from Birmingham, but I don't want to get rid of him. And there we go. Confirmation. Callum Galley has gone to Shrewsbury on loan for the year. And that is the last hour of the window, so that's basically everything. So, let's just go through the deals. Villa brought nobody in. Barnsley brought nobody in. Birmingham brought Downing in and got rid of Cottrell. Bolton brought in Cisniga and Vyman. Brentford, nobody. Bristol City brought in Jensen. Burton, Burton brought in nobody. Cardiff brought in nobody. We bought in Madison, Akpom, Calvert-Lewin for 2.6 mil, I think. I think that's quality business from us. And uh, we got rid of Anya Forsyth and Vyman, obviously. Not as much as I'd like to get rid of, uh, but it, it's a start, at least. And we've got a 1 mil profit from this window, which I'm pleased with. Uh, Fulham have brought nobody in and got rid of Cabano and Sessegnon. Hull have got rid of Dawson, brought nobody in. Ipswich brought nobody in. Leeds brought nobody in and got rid of Stokes. Middlesbrough bought in nobody, got rid of Coulson and Downing. Millwall bought in Forsyth. Norwich brought in a big player, Oretaviskaya. Don't, I can't pronounce that, but 7 million. Forrest brought in Embarba and got rid of Lehigh. Preston brought in Schoenbachler and got rid of Brown. Alan Brown's a decent old player, I'm surprised about that. QPR got rid of Perchie and Robinson. Reading bought in Niroga, got rid of Kelly. Sheffield United brought in Bright and Evacare. That's a decent old signing for them. I can see that in real life. Wednesday spent big so far. Albornoz brought in Chimera. Got rid of nobody. Sunderland got rid of Deadwood. Well, Deadwood. One Deadwood in Billy Jones. Then Gooch and Watmore went. Youngsters. And then Wolves brought in some Greek by the sounds of it. And got rid of Giro and, and, and Evacare again. So not too much going on in the championship surprisingly. But that does us for the window, lads. So that's up to January at least. Um, sorted for us. And straight after the transfer window ends, we've got George Thorne offer from Villa. Nope, you can kiss my ass, Villa. And a squad monthly report from that youngster, Rodney Hendricks. Oh no, his potential's dipped massively. Offer for Darren Bent from Wolves. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And while we're on the transfer front, I'm going to try and sign Keeftonbeld now we're at the window. See what we do in like what we might do in real life. So approach to buy Keeftonbeld. Right, so I'm just gonna have to offer them a solid two mil. Let's see if they accept that. Right, that's a fair offer for Keeftonbeld, looks like we're gonna get into negotiations with Michael. Yeah, I guess I'll accept that because that's I'm gonna be rotating him, so he might get that. Right, two year works for him. He doesn't want no release clause, which I accept. Uh, his wages, he wants 23 grand, and he wants mad clauses. To be fair, that 20 goals, he's never gonna uh, score, so fair enough, I'll give him that. Signing bonus isn't that much, but his wage, not that I haven't got enough, but I don't wanna be paying him that much. 
I'll give him 20 grand. He wants his 23 grand. Do you know what? I'll accept it because it's not like I need to be nitpicking over wages. I've got tons of money. So in Michael Keaton Bell's coming in in January, like you probably will do in real life. Offer for Jason Shekel from Leipzig. Imagine that. I mean, I'm just going to accept that. Hopefully he can sort his wages out because he's on a lot, but they do have a lot of money to be fair. And there we go. So Darren Bent has gone to Wolves. I'm I'm surprised that couldn't have been that couldn't have been done in the summer, but I'm glad that's another player off the wages in January. My team for Hull is going to look like this: Carson, Wisdom, Keo, Davis, Low, Ledley, and Huddleston, Madison, Vidra, and Calvert Lewin at left mid. He can play there, and Lawrence is just very bad on FIFA. I've sort of come to terms with, so I'm going to give him a shot at left mid and Nugent up top. Let's go. Hull are lining up again. Another team using the five uh, five two three. So, they've got David Marshall in goal, Kingsley, Hector, Mazuch, Fomori, or oh, Tomori, sorry, Adebayo, Hedrickson, and Stewart, Grasitsky, Hernandez, and Larson at right mid. It's a good ball to Huddleston. I'm going to hit this. Mazuch puts out for a corner. Can we score from a corner two games in a row? Huddleston whips this in. To Keo and Marshall with a save. Vidra's got this back. David Nugent. Nugent, curl one from there. And what a finish! That is from my boy David. I was. It, there's not much you can say to that, really. That is one hell of a strike. I mean, this man is a one man goal of the season contender, I'll tell you. He scored a cracker at his Bolton, and that in itself was a very good finish. Poor pass from the defender, Odebajo. Vidra passed it to David Nuge. He just put his foot through it. Vidra to Nuge. Nuge. Again. Again. This time, Marshall was alert. Calvert-Lewin, Calvert-Lewin still got it to Huddleston against your former team, just not one. Oh, that was literally whiskers wide. Calvert-Lewin to Vidra, side netting. I was trying to shoot with Calvert-Lewin, but the pass just opened up, so I took it and unfortunately didn't go in. Madison, very nice, won that. Vidra, Vidra has a part, Marshall says for a corner. To Madison, what a ball! Nugent, can he finish? Oh, it's offside. Oh, I thought that was a great pass from Madison. Let's look if it was offside. Tell you what, it was a quality pass, and yeah, Nugent was just off. Very nice, Calvert Lewin. Play that to Madison, what a ball that is. Very nice ball. Madison's waiting for runners. He plays it to David Nugent. How have you missed that, Dave? Russell wins it for Nugent. Nugent, he's not giving it up, and he's giving it to Russell. Russell running to the box. Run in, Ross. Johnny! Johnny's for I literally just subbed him on for Calvert-Lewin. First chance. First little sniff from Johnny Russell. His first action. And he bends it through the legs of Hector into the far corner and solidifies our win. And that is that, lads. A very solid 2-0 win against Hull. Quality from us. They didn't even have a shot. And there we go, so that's confirmation of Jason Shackle taking a career path to Leipzig in Germany. Brilliant. So I'm going to change the team up a bit despite the win. Uh, Carson Wisdom, Keo Davis also comes back. Thorne and Johnson holding mids. Benny, Lawrence and Russell are the like, attacking midfield trio. And then Nugent keeps his place. This is Ipswich's team, 4-4-2. Surprising for me because I normally come up against 5-3-2, but... Bartosz Biakowski in goal, Dominic Ayol for Adam Webster, Luke Chambers, uh, Nudson, Freddie Sears on the left, Emma Hughes and Cole Skews in the middle, Grant Ward on the right, Joe Garner and David McGoldrick up top. McGoldrick. David McGoldrick, that is Joe Garner, Freddie Sears, back to Cole Skews and Carson catches it. Good tackle by Curtis, oh and a step over, are you messy in disguise Curtis? He literally, he's quality and Lawrence smashed this, what a save against his former team. Thorn. Play that through to David Nugent. He's got the run on the defender. He's gotten a bit out wide. Cut in. Shoots. Lawrence win that. Oh, it's a bit too far out wide. And is it going to go out for it? Don't tell me. Grant Ward puts a dangerous ball in and it falls to McGoldrick. But Keogh gets the tackle in. Very nice corner. Jesus, without Keogh, where would we be? Lawrence. Nuge. Is that, that's a good ball for Marcus Madison. Marcus Madison's running. Finish it, Marcus! And he's put it wide as well! What is happening? Oh, what a ball that is to David McGoldrick. Put it back to Burson Cellini, curls it, and that is a beauty. 
against the rule of play, the Manchester City low knee shows just how good he is. What a finish. There's nothing Carson can do, but we should be out of sight by now. Lawrence to David Nugent. David's away. Don't fuck it. He actually has done. He's so bad. He is awful. Stats wise, Ipswich arguably deserved it. Had more possession, turned a bit less shots, but nothing between the two teams apparently. I thought I was all over him to be fair. But yeah, so this is the table. After seven games, we are in the playoff just on goal difference. But if you did enjoy this episode, make sure you go hit that like button below. This is Shimon. I'm going to see you guys later and peace out.